Welcome back, everyone, to another Coach Blakers podcast, number 21. Today, 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 we're going to be talking about Renata Glassic. I don't know if I said it right, but who cares? It's day fault for having horrible name choices when it comes to pronunciations. Now, we're going to be talking about her abilities, what's her passivism. We're just going to be discussing kind of how she works, what do I think about her, and things like that. First thing I want to do is start off with a quote, of course. But before we start off with a quote, make sure you guys book a session at coachbooker.com if you guys would like coaching. A lot of you guys may be stuck. A lot of you guys may not be stuck, be having issues. Or a lot of you guys might be climbing super fast, but just would like a little bit more help because you know you might hit a wall eventually. Coaching is a very good option. Link down below, coachbooker.com is where you want to go if you guys would like that assistance. There is a beta mode right now for a specific service. You can go to my site and check it out, see if it's something for you. It might not stay on my site, but we'll see how it does. But let's get into the, to, to the quote here. So if it scares you, it might be a good thing to try. Seth Godin or Godin? Godin. I'll say it one more time. If it scares you, it might be a good thing to try. Now, a lot of characters that come out in League of Legends usually look a little bit overpowered. Look, they do. They look a little bit busted. But remember, if it scares you, it might be a good thing to try. Why not try it? So I'll go ahead and we're going to capture this window here. And we're going to display this on the screen for you guys. Because I want to not read text. <laughs> um, you know, you guys might not like to see me read text. So it's just better that we have it like that. Okay. All right. So let's get into playing the thing. So we have the passive. And the passive is leverage. Renata's basic attack marks her enemy and deals bonus damage. Damage from Renata's allies consume the mark, dealing additional damage. So this pretty much is something like Callista. This is not something new we haven't seen. This is pretty much a Callista thing here. Not really too worried about it. Um, it's just a Callista thing. So let's go into the next thing here. Her Q. Handshake. Renata Glassic's I'm just going to say RG. Sends out a missile from her robotic arm. Wait, let's go back. I'm, look, it's too quick. Um, sends a missile from her robotic arm. Roots the first enemy hit. She can now reactivate this ability to throw the enemy in a target direction, damaging enemies hit and stunning them if it's thrown at a target champion. So you can smash another champion into another champion. I mean, pretty simple move. It doesn't really seem too OP. Um... You can keep them snared, you can pull them towards you, you can push them back. Very good peel, very good engage, kind of like Blitz or Nautilus. Um, and then you can slam them to the left or right. It'd be really cool if you can slam them into terrain. I feel like that'd be a really cool addition. But hey, maybe it was a little bit too broken if you think about it. Or maybe they couldn't get it to work right. But I feel like that'd be pretty cool if you can slam them into terrain. Like a, like a vein condemn or something like that, right? Um, I like it. I think that's a good idea. You can push them back, like I said, pull them. It's very versatile, and that's a, that's a cool way to really think of an ability like that. Her, another, her next ability is W, Bailout. RG grants an ally champion or herself ramping attack speed and move speed toward enemies. If the ally gets a takedown on an enemy champion, the buff duration resets. That's kind of nuts. If the ally would die while Bela is still active, their health is set back to full, but they begin burning to death over three seconds. So you have three seconds of play. So sort of like the um, dragon. Remember the, that, that dragon where you'd come back? I forgot the name of the... Kim, Kim Tech Soul. That, that dragon. It pretty much does that, it seems like. Um, the ally can stop the burn by getting a champion takedown before they die. So you're basically coming back like Scion. That's probably a better way to think of it. You're coming back like Scion, and when you get a kill, you don't die. So, <laughs> and if you don't die, you reset the... You also, like, if you don't just die, you reset the bell out, and you still have more attack speed and movement speed. So this, is big, this will be a very interesting ability. But the thing is, it seems broken, but you have to time it. If you put it on your AD carry, and let's just say during the fight they don't get a kill, and it burns away, and they don't die, you just wasted it. Right, it's like a little buff. So you're choosing to, to use it as a safety net. You're choosing to, to use it as a buff for the fight. And I think very, very rarely will those paths cross over like that, especially in a solo queue setting. Maybe in pro play, where you have a lot more communication or like in flex or in, in clash. But as far as solo queue goes, it feels like this move would be very, very hard to use. Kind of like Yumi, where you have to use her ultimate properly with a teammate. Things like that, you know what I mean? So uh, it seems busted on paper, but like in play in solo queue, I don't think it's going to be that good. As you see, we notice that you get the ramping attack speed, and it doesn't even last that long. So she has to time it incredibly well as well. So it's, it's like even harder than like a zillion ult. 
Um, but once again, the buff does in, like reset if you kill a target. So that is something to really think about when you do pop it on. The buff resets. Now, if she dies, I'm pretty sure they're going to show that, right? You put it on. And they're still not showing it dying. Okay, well, if you die, you come back, like the burn goes away. You basically just don't die. Okay, it's like Scion when you die. And then if you can get a kill before it runs out over those three seconds, you can just come back to life. It's like Zillion. Once again, that's not something we've never seen before. It just seems broken, but Zillion does it all the time. So, and so does GA. And, um,. I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Think, think, think. We might be a little overthinking it a little bit too much. Next, we have loyalty program. Um, RG sends out a Kim. Uh, RG sends out Kim Tech rockets that shield allies and damage and slow enemies it passes through. The rockets also apply their effect. Uh, the effects round her. I'm guessing there's supposed to be effects around her on cast in an explosion at max range. Okay, so let's just rewatch what that just was. Okay, so the ability does a little explosion around her, and then it fires off, and then when it collides uh, with a champion, or maybe at the end of the the like the, the end of the throw, it blows up. The thing is, it says enemies it passes through. So I would assume that it does have a fixed distance on where you want it to explode, but it will pass through and still do its damage. We'll see though. I hope they'll like demonstrate that. Like I said, I've never played this character before. But as you see, it looks like she can make it be shorter or longer based off where she goes, maybe? Or is it just a fixed distance? They don't really give me much to look at. If it is a fixed distance, once again, you can aim it. If it's larger, if it's farther, well, that's pretty cool, too. Um, interesting. Her R, Hostile Takeover, RG sends out a cloud of chemicals that cause enemies to go berserk, increasing their attack speed and forcing them to basic attack anything around them. Berserk enemies prioritize attacking their own allies, the neutral units, then RG's team, um, then RG's herself. So the way that it's going to work is they're going to prioritize their allies. If there's no allies around, it's going to target neutral units. And neutral units are things like um, uh, like dragons, barons, uh, camps, jungle camps, like just scuttle crap, neutral things. And then if it can't get that, um, it will go to the team and then if it can't get the your team it's going to go to her herself so this could be something that can really screw over your team i think rather than helping your team one thing i will say is i did notice that if she turns this on and the enemy kills the baron or dragon she will get the her team will get the baron and dragon if that does get last hit i don't know if that's a glitch and i don't know if they'll fix that um or if that's intentional but that's interesting to to, to kind of note um okay so let's see i don't know if i don't know if neutral units count as minions I don't, I don't know if they consider those neutral units but as you see they're attacking the teammates and then they will go ahead and attack the rest of uh, her team so pretty interesting i think that's a really cool like design i don't think that she's broke i don't think that it's something that we've never seen before i definitely think that it's interesting I definitely think that it has room to become really skill expressive. It's it's not too fresh, but it's definitely fresh enough. Um, I really do think that they're kind of trying, and <clears throat> I do think that's a better route. The fact that they're making champions a little bit more unique rather than like, okay, this champion's kind of copied and paste. This champion's kind of copied and paste. They're trying their best, even if it's the same ability, like a regular snare, like a regular, um, like a regular, like re revive, like a regular slow and stuff. Like a lot of that stuff is very unique to her. So I think that was a really cool champion. I don't think it's really busted. I think it'd be really strong in like team play, coordinated play. But I don't think that that champion in particular will in particular will be strong in solo queue. It's kind of like Rail, um, like I said, Rail, Yumi, um, you know, things that need a partner to kind of really do well. I feel like in solo queue that might not be the case for her, but um, that's a very interesting character. I like it. I like it. I think they they did a good job with that character for sure. I don't think it's a mistake or anything like that. So that's my thoughts on it. Um, but who am I? I just coach games or I just coach league. So speaking of which. If you guys would like a coaching, League of Legends is where you want to go. I mean, <laughs> yeah, go to LeagueOfLegends.com for a coaching session. <laughs> CoachBlogger.com is where you want to go if you guys uh, want any 
help with your games you can also just send me a message on discord or on my site and i will get back to you as soon as i can to help you guys further improve your play if you guys have any questions like that thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it um thank you guys for listening to those watching or listening to the podcast as well um i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys got any on her but hope you guys have a good rest of your day rest of your night and i will see you tomorrow with another coach blakers podcast